Hello everyone and welcome back to Sendix Weather Channel. Today we're going to take a look at the latest from the latest models from the GFS GM, the ECM, the Icon, the AI ECM model and as well as the UK Metaphys to see the trends for the next couple of weeks which will take us to the middle of February. So um, first we'll start with the GFS, then we'll move on to the ECM scenarios and we'll also have a look at the ensembles. And we'll have a quick look at the UKV as well at the end of the video for the next couple of days with the current weather forecast. Um, so there has been a few hints recently and I haven't really documented it too much because we've been focusing on the storms a lot. Um, but there's there's been a lot of interest surrounding a potential Scandinavian high or potential blocking feature to the northeast. Now, the likelihood of this is quite unlikely because of the power of the Atlantic. Now, at the moment, the Atlantic is very powerful. It's been bringing us lots of storms, such as Iowan. It's brought um, Storm Hermenia, from, which was named by the Spanish Met Office. Um, but we'll take a look at the latest anyway. So, we'll start as, as, as we mean to start with the GFS. Now, I did look at this very briefly, and it looked quite interesting. So, why don't we run through things right now? So, when I'm uploading this, it's about, about, about 8 p.m. on a Tuesday. <laughs> So, at the moment, we have low pressure just clearing out to our east, which is bringing lots of heavy rain at the moment to many central and eastern areas. Um, like, right now, it's raining where I am. Um, and it's been a little bit chilly. It's not too bad. You can see from the upper air temperatures, um, it's around average. Um, not much deviation, slightly below. Um, however, as we go for the next few days, the low pressure system sinks southwards on Wednesday the 29th, so tomorrow at 12, um, 12 midday. Um, that's sinking to our southeast. May bring a little bit of rain to the far south and southwest, but not too much to worry about. High pressure kind of topples over the country around Thursday and Friday, which means it could be quite cold um, at the surface, but nothing too crazy. The minus five line is in, so it will feel quite cold on Thursday as a ridge builds over the country. As we head towards Friday and the weekend, high pressure begins to migrate northwards. It thrusts upwards. <laughs> That is the worst way of saying it. But the high pressure begins to migrate to our northeast, trying to develop a Scandinavian high. And as you can see, just to the east of the high, which is trying to develop, um, there is a pool of colder air developing within it, the minus 10, minus 5 line. It does get very close, however, we stick too close to the high and the Atlantic, or the polar vortex, or the tropospheric polar vortex, topples with these strong low pressure systems um, toppling the high, and causing the cold air to remain in Eastern Europe, even extending as far uh, westwards as Norway and Scandinavia, Scandinavian areas. But it remains, remains mainly in Eastern Europe, where we see a cold plunge. You see lots of high pressure remains to our east, and it kind of stays around with the GFS. But however, we stay on the mild side of the ridge, brief westerly there, which could be a little bit colder, with brief colder zonality um, around the first week of February, before high pressure begins to move to our northeast. Now, if you notice the position of the high, then you notice that the very mild winds uh, from France, Spain, Italy are kind of going to our northwest. Um, all the all the milder all the mild conditions are kind of going to our northwest. So in the south and the east, especially, there could be inversions. It could feel quite cold at the surface. If we have a look at the two meter temperatures, the upper air temperatures aren't that crazy. But you can see six a.m. on Thursday the sixth, it's not getting much above freezing. And by twelve um, on midday, it's not. It's kind of around average, four, five, six degrees. It's not exactly um, spectacular for the time of year. Now, in the longer term, around the third, going into the second week of February, the ECM, I mean the GFS, sorry, <laughs> builds the high further to our northeast towards Scandinavia and does pull in a colder pool of air from the east. Now, it isn't much, it isn't um, really strongly supported, but the potential is there for it to happen. And as you can see, we get full blown easterly for a time, um, bringing in some pretty cold air with a minus five line moving in. Even the minus 10 grace in southeastern England probably would be cold enough for a few snow showers in parts of the south and east. Obviously, it's quite a dry air mass because it's right near, it's really close to the centre of the high pressure, just to our northeast. Um, but the potential is there for um, something like this to develop. It remains pretty cold um, with the GFS, albeit quite dry, but again, another easterly moves in with some more colder air moving in with a minus five line. Um, and yeah, it just keeps it cold, quite dry, with a potential for some harsh overnight frost in lighter winds and clear skies um, through the second week of February. Now, I want this to happen because the second week of February is when I've said it's going to turn cold. <laughs> and, um, you know, I don't want to be wrong. I, I want to try, <laughs> try my best, but I'm not too bothered. It's just a bit of fun. Uh, but GM next, then. 
Um, if you do enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Um, if you do, if you do enjoy my videos, I really do appreciate it. Let's go on with the GEM. So this goes out to day 10. So it goes out to the 7th of Feb. You can see very similar at the end of the run. However, again, very similar with the next few days up to the end of the week through Friday into the weekend with um, a, a brief topple high um, or like a... a a transient ridge over the top of the country before high pressure builds um, to our northeast. Again, we are kind of under the milder side of the ridge. Um, you can see the winds are originating from the south and the um, southwest, so it is actually looking quite mild there with the GEM. Uh, but the upper temperatures, again, are still not great in the southeast. Much of the country is not getting much above 5 or 6 degrees, so it could be mild air aloft, but quite cold at the surface. This high pressure does migrate northeastwards, um, it doesn't build as strongly, it kind of topples again. Then it d does build stronger, um, however, the Atlantic's part far too powerful. All the cold air is sinking to our east and northeast, so... Um, uh, Eastern Europe is seeing a really cold, potent cold plunge. You can see 10 to 12 degrees below average, just to about just a couple of hundred miles east. It's pretty, um, pretty crazy. Um, but we're kind of on the wrong side. We stay, well, you'd say mild, but pretty average. It's not, it's not spectacular. But look at this cold air to our east. We're not far away. Something to monitor, uh, especially in the second week of Feb. Uh, but there's so much like um, high latitude blocking um, to our north and east. It's pretty. Pretty crazy to see so much appearing on these models, but again, the Atlantic, the polar vortex, is far too powerful and just topples or moves the ridge further away from us, and we just remain in flat westerly, southwesterly winds with colder zonality possible at times. Now the ECM goes out to day nine, but we'll have a look at it anyway for um, for model guidance. We'll see what it says. So again, very similar for the next few days. High pressure bridges to our north doesn't build properly, and uh, we stay under relatively cool air not relatively cool but um this obviously the the upper level air is pretty mild but the surface again still could be quite cold with some frost and fog now the ecm does actually at day so it remains it goes more westerly for the first week of february so pretty um pretty well i mean it's a kind of average besides the most dry most settled in the south um uh, further north was obviously the most unsettled but kind of average conditions um but then at the very end of the run the ECM, which you can only see out to day 9, I'll see what it says at day 10, I'll post it on Twitter or something. Uh, but again, at day 10, the ECM looks like it wants to build heights further northwards. Um, but we'll have to wait and see what it says. But it's trying to build heights to our north and northeastwards, which is quite interesting. The high pressure to our... I'll never use these charts. This is the high pressure on the ECM by the 7th of February. It has migrated to our northeast and is beginning to pull in a colder easterly wind. That's quite interesting, actually. Um, and does pull in an easterly. However, the Atlantic then sends low pressure back southwards, and that's as far as we can get. But again, it's pretty interesting to see that um, from the ECM. You can see it does build heights to our north. Does build um, eventually to an easterly. Does pull in some cold air into the south and east. Possible snow showers in the south and the east. However, the low pressure quickly barrages in from off the Atlantic. Slight, slight building of heights to our west as it looks like the Azores high pulls out to our west, allowing the jet stream to go on a northwest southeast alignment. Looking a bit cold. Still a lot of high level blocking to our northeast, but it's something to be monitored actually. Quite interesting to see that from the ECM. Now, these are the options on the table from the ECM ensembles for day 10. Um, and we'll have a look at them. So this is from the midnight run, not the, not the latest midday, but from the midnight runs. So 20 of them are showing at day 10 to the 7th of February. Um, high pressure um, out to our east. Uh, low pressure out in the Atlantic. Winds in from the southwest. Again, though, could be colder at the surface. Um, 16 again with high pressure kind of over and to the east of the country and low pressure to our northwest. Winds are in from the west again. Again, could be an inversion. And then 15 more west with high pressure to the south, low pressure to the north. Uh, winds in from the west. Looks the mildest option because we are closer to the westerly winds. Now at day 14 or day, um, yeah, day 14 uh, or day 16, I should say, 16 days away, um, taking us to the 12th of February, we have... 16 with high pressure kind of ridging out to our west, but not properly getting towards Greenland, still some low pressure. Low pressure to our east, that could be more of a northwesterly. Could be cooler at times, but nothing too out of the ordinary. 15 of high pressure ridging out in the Atlantic. And low pressure to the north, and high pressure to, towards France, and bringing in the winds from the west. 
13 of high pressure towards Scandinavia. Winds are in from a cold easterly. So the potential's level. It's only 25% supported. That could change. And 7 with low pressure right over the top of the country. Mild, wet, windy, unsettled. Um, so... At day 14, well, day 16, um, there's quite a range of options, um, put up some question marks, but the likely option is for it to stay westerly, but you never know, there could be some surprises into the second week of February. Please, please, I want my prediction to be right. <laughs> so these are the um, the GFS ensemble, it's gone for a pretty central location, Barnsley, my hometown. <laughs> Up the Barnsleys. Um, so over the next few days, it's going to be a little bit chilly um, to, to end the month. It's looking like we're going to get a below average CET. Um, but we'll have to wait and see on that details. Then into the then to the start of February, it does go kind of above average with the upper air temperatures. But again, might be a bit cold at the surface. Slight cold snap around the fifth of Feb. But again, it's just that it's just that ridge before it topples away. Um, or it could be like a slight northwesterly tilt, uh, but it's not going to be anything too spectacular, very dry. And then it looks quite zonal with much of the runs. You can see the GFS 12Z is one of the colder outliers, but there's a few there's a few ensemble members supporting it, so you can never rule it out. Uh, but what I would say is that the most likely pattern um, into the first, second week of February is for it to remain zonal with the potential for colder or cooler interludes at times. Uh, the potential is there, however, for a colder snap or, or cold easterlies um because heights are building to our northeast and like high level ural blocking is um increasing so it is something to be monitored things can change at very short notice i would put the chance of scanning high at low at the moment but i would never you can never rule anything out with the weather in the uk at least anyway now finally i'll show off the ukv run uh, as i always well as i do as you do um so um, at the moment, there's some showers in the northeast, in the southeast, I should say, um, clearing away um, through the next few hours. Um, they're clear away by probably when this video comes out. A few showers dotted around in the west and obviously turning wintry over the, over the northern hills um, of Scotland. A um, few patchy showers around, maybe a little bit wintry over the Pennines and the north areas of northern England and through central northern Scotland over the highest routes. Um, then there's this low pressure system which is just dodging the south and um, going to the to go into the um, going to the south east, um, and that dodges that misses the country uh, on this run. But there could be some heavier bursts in the southeast there, south cut along the south coast uh, through Wednesday evening into Wednesday night. And then a few patchy snow showers in the north because it is still pretty cold up there. Um, plenty of snow showers around for the early hours of Thursday before it does dry out. Um, then a little bit of a snow event for the north and a few patchy areas of snow. Some places could wake up to surprise surprise covering but only over the highest routes so areas above like 300 metres elevation possibly before that clears away to our east. Maybe even some in the southeast there before that clears away. There's a lot of thick cloud around so expect some drizzle patches and maybe some fog. And then into the weekend, there's the wet, windy, unsettled weather. Looks quite um, looks quite wet, especially in the north. Could be some rain warnings issued for that in northern Scotland. Um, before that, rain band does move eastwards and does begin to weaken. Um, it does look like quite a wet day, especially in the west through Saturday into Sunday. But things obviously have to be monitored, especially for Northern, northern Ireland there. Could be a few squally showers there and some thunderstorms. But anyway, that's the latest. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, I've tried to pace myself a bit better. Um, so hopefully we haven't seen as many send it stutters, which I'm famous for. But yeah, like, subscribe, comment on the video, what you'd like to see, um, what you'd like me to improve on. Um, we should be back for a live stream um, at some point. But there you go. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all in the next weather video. Bye-bye, everyone.